Hey guys, welcome back and uh, for another PS Vita video. Uh, we're going to be covering a utility that will make things easier for those who are having problems getting your SD to Vita adapter working after updating to ENSO 365. So do note that this video will require you to have had ENSO custom firmware installed then updated to ENSO 365 going through the whole Hinkaku process and everything. So if you haven't done so already, uh, you can follow my tutorials uh, by going back and checking out one of my previous videos. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and launch Vita Show. And I usually use FTP, but this time I figured I'd use the um, USB. So you can hit start and change the select button to USB. The USB device would be the SD to Vita adapter. That's what we want. So we're going to hit start. We're going to hit select. And it's going to wait for the USB cable. We'll go ahead and install that now. There we go. I'm going to show that it's connected here. Let me go ahead and switch on over to the computer. So this is the file you're going to download. I've actually renamed it because I think I was having issues with the file name. So you can rename it uh, as well if you like. But, so let me uh, where it is there we are we're gonna go open up another window here my Vita should be showing up as a USB drive and there it is okay so we're gonna navigate down to our VPK folder and we're gonna copy this VPK over to our VPK folder there we are and it's as you can tell it's it's much quicker to do this using USB over FTP but if I know I only have a few smaller files to send over I'll just go ahead and use FTP because I don't normally have my USB cable handy so anyways back to the Vita we're gonna hit cancel and we're gonna navigate to our VBK folder and find the TFT TF tool VBK that I renamed we're gonna install that and yes for the extended permissions Alright, so now we can go ahead and exit Vita Show and we should have a new bubble down here, always at the bottom. There it is. The TF card plugin tool. Now right now mine is set to UX0. So here are the different options available. You can set your SD to Vita to UMA0, making your memory card UX0, vice versa. You can set the uh, okay that's only for PS TV. And you can uninstall the TF card and USB plugin, refresh library. It's got its own file manager, that's kind of neat. I didn't realize that. But now, I mentioned that my UMA0 wasn't showing up, even though I do have my PlayStation uh, card. Let's go ahead and we'll select this. Let's see. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Do I choose? Oh, he hit circle to select, I guess. There we are. Operation check. Swap the mount. Set the drive. You want to proceed. Circle for yes. Okay. Process complete. Would you like to reboot the device now? Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and reboot and make sure everything's working the way it's supposed to. So we don't need the USB plugged in anymore, so we'll go ahead and plug that so that my computer doesn't interfere. Alright, we're all rebooted here. Make sure all of our games are still showing up, so it does still recognize my memory card. Let's see if it went ahead and fixed the UMA0. Because that wasn't showing up before. Let's go ahead and hit up. Yep, UMA0, here it is. Hey, hey. Awesome, so it looks like the plugin works exactly the way it's supposed to. Um, just to be sure, on the SD to Vita uh, 
SD card, I put, I just made a text file that says uh, SD card dot text. So UX zero is where I have mine set up and it should be down here at the bottom, SD card. So that is my SD to be the adapter set to UX zero. And my memory card is mounted to UMA zero. So, and you can switch them back and forth if you need to for whatever reason. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, be sure to click that subscribe button. Maybe hit the even hit the little bell icon to get notified of future uploads. And until next time, thanks for watching.